I think this pretty much sums up how I feel right now. You know what hurts the most? It it's it's not even unexpected. Like the fact that we got beat 3-0 by Spurs, not really a big surprise. I remember when we've been 3-0 down to Spurs before. Yes, it was at half time under Fergie a few years ago, and we turned it around and won 5-3. And, uh, yeah, there was just nothing in that game that would suggest that we'd even score. We had one shot on target in the entire game. And, um, you know, I admire Spurs this season. Honestly, I think they've, they've done what we tried to do at the start of the season, and that's get rid of all the useless uh, deadwood players that are creating, you know, negative atmosphere within the club and bring in the correct players. Get your recruitment bang on. And that's what Spurs have done this season. And they fully deserved their win. They really did. They they outclassed us in every single department. And we played like we did, for like we have so many times this season. And we haven't really been punished for it. We've we scraped a nil nil or a one nil win, maybe a one nil loss now and then. But never have we been like completely fucked like that. I mean, since probably MK Dons, we've had some bad results. Yes, we've lost three nil to Arsenal. I suppose that's a similar game to this one where. Three goals in quick succession for, you know, it, it, it's hard to explain. It, this also underlies our over-dependence on teenagers. All right, Timothy uh, Fosu Mensa went off injured, and I think we conceded three goals ten minutes later after he'd gone 10, 15 minutes. Within that period that he'd been absent from the field, we conceded three. Our over-dependence on, or over-reliance on teenagers is a joke. When Marcel, obviously he's 20 now, but 19, you know, when he burst into the team, Rashford, Shaw when he wasn't injured, Brothwick Jackson even for the, like, five, six games that he played, Timothy Fosumensa, you know, we've just over-relied on them, and that's the thing when you over-rely on youngsters and you're big, so-called big players don't perform or are injured, of course, um, which we've had a lot of this season. But when you, you rely on youngsters, they're not going to perform every single game because they physically cannot. They're going to have barren runs or a bad game now and then because they're young, they're developing, they're learning. And, um, yeah, honestly, like... I never thought we were really going to win that. Apart from that one little piece of magic from Martial that, unfortunately, he hit straight at the goalkeeper. Apart from that... I, I just didn't see anything. It was usual from us. It was pointless possession, no penetration. Even in the in the first 30 minutes, when we had, I think, 70% possession nearly, and Spurs only had 30%, it's the same story throughout the season. The team that has the lowest amount of possession hurts us, and we create absolutely nothing, and that's because they've got a fast counter-attack. Leicester and Spurs are where they are because of so many reasons, but they've got such a good team spirit. The mentality is right. The way they're set up, the the tempo they play at, the fast, fluid football, the insane counter-attacks. Uh, it's just everything. Like, literally, they've got a well-balanced team. Yes, they haven't had a lot of injuries. That could be another reason why they're there. But, you know, maybe their, their health, fitness, whatever, coaches are doing a, a superb job. But it's just, uh, they deserve to be where they are. And I, I've been saying it for quite a while now that I think Spurs will win the league. And although they're seven points off Leicester, and of course Leicester are obvious favourites because there's, what, five games left, I'm still saying Spurs are going to win the league. And that's just generally because I think, well, I think they've got a better goal difference than Leicester as well. And I just think that they're, they're, they're going to keep going and Leicester will tail off towards the end a little bit. But, you know, that's just a matter of opinion. But for this game... I don't really think there's anything more to say. As I say, like, Spurs have done what we should have done this season. Yes, we got rid of so much deadwood. That's step one. It's the recruitment and the replacement that we got completely wrong. And Spurs got bang on. And now they're title, title challengers. And we've been given false hope yet again. We beat City. We think we've got a chance of getting in the top four. And then we lose. And to be honest, Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because there are strong rumours that I now believe because it fits in this jigsaw puzzle of why Louis van Gaal thinks he's staying in the job and why Jose Mourinho thinks he's getting the Man United job. Apparently there's a clause similar to Moyes' contract that uh, suggests it's either top three or top four. There's rumours circulating what it is, but one of those... Um, if he doesn't get in the top four or the top three, then he won't be paid his compensation bonus like Moyes. 
Uh, we waited until it was mathematically impossible for him to get in the Champions League, so we didn't have to pay him all these ridiculous compensation clauses. And I believe that's the same story with Van Hal. As soon as it becomes mathematically impossible for us to reach the top four, which we're now not going to do, four points behind City, and now De Bruyne's back for them. They're a completely different team. They're not Manchester City of the last two months. They're Manchester City from the start of the season with De Bruyne in their team. They're a completely different outfit, and they're not going to drop four points come the end of the season, let alone are we going to get all... Is it 18, 15 points left? I don't think that's going to happen. So I don't think we're going to get top four. So as I say, I think it's a blessing in disguise. I think this generally means Louis van Gaal will be gone at the end of the season and Jose Mourinho will come in next season. So we can just look forward to that. And, you know, congrats Spurs. I've, I've got no complaints. The better team won. Obviously they did. They won 3-0. And it was just it was just quick. Literally, out of out of nothing. Soon as Fosu Mensa subbed off, um, the defensive organisation went to shit and we conceded three in a matter of ten minutes. So yeah, congrats Spurs and uh, just can't wait for the end of the season now to be honest.